Hello everyone and welcome to our continuing coverage of CES 2013 on Newegg TV. I'm here at the Cooler Master Suite, uh, which is located at the Palms uh, Hotel Casino. And they have a pretty sweet, 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 sweet. I guess I could say that. And I'm here with Nate. And Nate is uh, from Cooler Master and he's going to share with us a bunch of stuff right now. What do we have? We have some power supplies. Some chassis. We have some chassis we're going to show you guys. Some coolers. Some cool water coolers, air coolers. Because Cooler Master is the master of... Cooling. cooling as it's very cool. All very things clear. cool. All right, so uh, Nate's going to run us through that. And uh, where do you want to start, Nate? Let's start with the power supplies. Power right supplies, here. we got them right here. Okay, two new power supplies. Okay, so we have the, the V1000. It's a totally new uh, rendition and revision of our top of the line power supply. Uh, it's completely modular. You can see uh, everything, there's nothing attached like on, uh, on some of the older style. And it's going, the, the main benefit here is the really large fan, it's really solid. Uh, you can see there's uh, all the connections you can need, enough video cards for uh, six PCI connections, um, and all your CPU and stuff like that hooks up. It's going to be uh, on the higher end enthusiast level, and then for the more mainstream people, we have the, uh, the I series. So this is the V series, the top of the line, and the I series is the mainstream stuff. We're going to have 600, or 500, 600, and 700 of this. Um, it's the standard, the standard cable bundle, um, and you're kind of getting you're getting a, a good value on this versus you know, really high performance on the other version. And we have uh, 80 plus gold certification, I understand, on the V-Series. And 80 plus bronze on the 600 series. Exactly. So if you guys are looking for a high-end power supply, if you're running a dual GPU solution, something like that, go for this one. Also got the 600 watt, a nice solid 80 plus bronze yeah. power supply. So everybody can have bronze for, now. For anyone who's looking for a nice efficient power supply, because it does save on your electricity bill. I can vouch for that one. And, and, and this power supply is going to have uh, Every, every cable will be individually sleeved. Um, we have an example over here. It's kind of a tight, a tight look, but it looks really good. You know, you see that on like uh, individually modded systems or custom modders will do that. Um, and it's really, really nice and tight and looks good connected, solid black. Very nice. I love the individually sleeved cables. I do too. We're going to walk this way, just like this. This is the Centurion 6. Centurion 6. Now, I've had some experience with the Centurion 5. I always find it to be a really awesome feature-packed uh, budget case for folks who are looking for, you know, something not too expensive, but they want a lot, a lot of nice features. They want to, they want an easy build process, and uh, this is sort of the updated version of that. I like the look for exactly, sure. Exactly, exactly, and it's going to hit in the the fifty-nine ninety-nine to sixty-nine ninety-nine range. Very nice. We have two two versions: the uh, the nice silver version and the black version over here. There are USB three, USB two, and this is uh, metal. It's coated with rubber, so it's kind of like uh, the park benches okay. that you're you know familiar with if you're looking for the feel of it. Kind of the sturdiness of of metal, but the the nice feel of the uh, the rubber coating. Exactly, and then each these are all individually tight mesh in the back, okay. so you can pop off the bezel and blow it out or suck it out with a vacuum, pop it back on real quick to clean. Keep your case get, nice and get clean. It all all at once. Always important. The the top of this case has. The, uh, the holes offset so you can put in a water cooler and not have to worry about it touching your memory. And uh, so you can do water cooling on top, water cooling on the back. We're kind of, we're, we're moving towards water cooling as a, as a focus, as and the industry is. And in case you guys want to look at a built out system, whoops, which I just made a little, little crooked there. But Nate, by the way, set up all these systems that we're, that we're looking at today. So great job, Nate. So another example of the, the individually sleeved cables, it looks really good. You can hide them better. And when you have a modular power supply like this Silent Pro, hybrid, um, you don't need to plug in all the, worry about the extra bundle and stuff like that. So you only write what you need. And I like that painted, uh, painted interior. All black interior. Are, they, are these uh, cables? Yeah, these cages? are removable. So if you had a uh, 6990 or a really large card, you wouldn't have a problem fitting it in. I believe it's 15 inches or something, something that you, you couldn't possibly use. Yeah, those uh, video cards that they don't yeah, 13 inch They don't even make. Max. All right, we're moving a little bit further on. Okay, so this is our Force 500. Uh, the, the highlight of this case is the side intake right here. So you can see we have, you can see the fans through the grill, and that will lead you to um, the inside here, where you can see I've installed a uh, Sidon 240. So there's a 240 millimeter radiator there, and there's enough space that you wouldn't have a problem installing all your drives next to it. I really like this, especially in a, on a smaller case where you're getting you know, a much smaller footprint overall, but you still have room for that full-size radiator right there, and you even can fit drives right next to it. Yeah, so you have you know, eight drives or, or whatever this comes out to. It's, it's really a, a, a full-size chassis and in a kind of a budget-oriented uh, zone, about $50, I guess. Um, nice. And it's top-mounted power supply. And over here Some we nice have coverage of that one. We got this yeah. is the N200. Correct. Uh, so the front of the N200, you can see it's got a different mesh look. It's kind of a vertical mesh. 
and you have uh, one USB, three USB 2.0, and the uh, switches as, as he's showing you right there. And this one, uh, as with the previous cases, since the Focus is water cooling, we've installed a 240 millimeter uh, siding in the front there. So these, uh, the cages are all modular on this, on this chassis. So what I did was, originally they're mounted here, and there's another one of these stacked on top, so you have enough drive space. But since I didn't need it, I, I pulled it back into its back rear position, so you can put a radiator there, and I mounted the drives against here. So you can put two, two and a half inch drives against the back case. So you, you could remove that drive uh, cage completely if you wanted to. Um, or you could leave it and put in your storage drives if, if you weren't using SSDs exclusively. If you, if you get in a, a solely SSD setup with this, you remove that, you get nice. Uh, and you can put another fan pull. there, push push pull. You push pull on the radiator. Very nice, yeah. and that's a micro ATX. So, uh, micro ATX only, and there's a little filter on the bottom, and this is filtered too, so it'll keep it nice and clean. Um, for your, all your uh, N200 chassis needs. Very nice. All right. Uh, that's a look at some of the more budget-oriented cases, but we have some of the more popular cases. We're moving right along over here. So, uh, so next up, we have the Scout. The Scout 2 Advanced um, with, uh, with the handle. So it's the... Uh, you can put... It comes with one fan on the back here, and then we have two LED red fans on the front, and there's a button here on top where you can push it to turn them off. Uh, so that controls the LED lights on on the case fans and standard reset button and this slides open and you have all your your connectors right there. Nice cover there for the yeah. uh, USB 2 and USB 3. Yeah, USB 3. Okay, pop, pop that uh, LED button one more time so we can take a look yeah, from the so front here. That's off. Um, so if you didn't, you know, you wanted to watch a movie or something like that or you didn't want the lights on, it's just one quick press and click it back on. And so you're going to get three fans on that and we've added a filter on the bottom because uh, people want it. You want to have intakes. All your intakes you want to have filters on if you can. Always. And we're going to be releasing this, releasing this in the next month. And we're going to launch it at the same time as the White Scout over here. So all the same features of the Scout 2 Advanced, uh, except we put in some white fans. And it has the same cool look. Um, it looks really nice. Like you can see we have a setup here with the Quickfire Pro White uh, that will be released in a, in a couple months and the Series 400. So if you were going for an all-white look, you could absolutely have it. And if you wanted to put whatever fans or whatever you wanted to do. A nice to, matching really set good. of accessories. I like that you put the white fans there and push-pull on the, yeah, uh, yeah. the, the cooler, are, too. I think those are our striker fans. Um, looks really good. All right. And you can fit a 240 millimeter radiator up here. Uh, we just wanted to show off the, the, that hexagon. You can see the hexagon look. It looks really good. And you can see the fans really nicely. A little honeycomb going on up yeah, front. Yeah, honeycomb. There you go. All right, so uh, speaking of the cooler there, we have a, an, an assortment of coolers here that we're going to talk about next. So earlier this year, we released the Sidon 120M, which, uh, which is currently available on UEG, and it has a, a thinner radiator than this. This one's a little thicker. This one, I believe, is 60 millimeters, 70 millimeters. So it's thicker than the, the current gen. Same pump, budget-oriented water, all-in-one water cooling. It comes with, uh, with a fan to help you blow out all your... Well, you do, but you might want to add, like, the idea behind that, the reason why we only put one fan is to save you a couple bucks, and most cases come with a rear fan anyway. Yeah. So just put the fan in there, now you have push-pull for the cost of just your fan. And a bit more thermal mass. And you mentioned to me as well that uh, you guys from Cooler Master actually set up the manufacturing of these as well. Absolutely, yeah. This is nice. uh, designed and manufactured by us. Beautiful. We're not using a... a Outside company, right. and we'll come. We'll, we'll uh, come back to some more water coolers. But in between, uh, we have some air coolers here. So the popular uh, V8, we now have the V8 GTS. So the V8 GTS uh, has uh, this is a horizontal heat pipe. So or horizontal vapor chamber. I'm sorry. And we have a horizontal vapor chamber on bottom here, so it helps spread out and pass the heat onto the pipes better. There are eight heat pipes going up vertically, and this. V8 GTS has two 140 millimeter fans in there, and it's going to have lights on the top that you can push the button and change these lights to red, green, white, and blue. Nice. I believe are going to be the colors, um, and that's for for serious air cooling. That's going to be our top of the line air cooling. Yeah, that one looks like a beast. Uh, next up, the TPC 612. Now we have worked with the TPC 812 in quite a few of our builds. That was the uh, one of the first ones I believe that introduced that vertical vapor chamber. So this is. Just sort of a slightly, slightly smaller version of the 812? Exactly, you are 100% right. right. This, it, the TPC812 was the first uh, vertical vapor chamber uh, cooler. So, so I can leave it there if you want. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's half the size, or roughly half the size. 
um, but you know the same level of cooling. It has a different mounting bracket system that gets on really tight. Okay. The 812 doesn't get as tight, but this one is 100% locked down. Yeah, so you plenty, of, plenty, plenty of pressure up against exactly, the CPU. Exactly. All right. And then, we and then um, okay, so the, the best cooler ever, according to a lot of people, especially when you're talking price to performance, oh, has been yeah. the Hyper 212. You guys followed it up with the Hyper 212 Evo. Now we have the Hyper 212X. And um, there's, some, there's some subtle variations here, but uh, I think they, they will lead to a, a more compelling product. And uh, let me just spin this around for you guys so you can take a look from the back here. Now, uh, you guys have done some, a little bit of work with the fin array? Yes, there's something. We changed the fin array. Uh, you can see it better on the bottom. There's, that, there's a V there to help direct the air, uh, help direct the air a little better because there's a dead zone behind the center of your fan where the air doesn't pass through. So we shrunk it down to as small as we could get it to help uh, increase the airflow through it. And then that'll help direct the air out the back. And this is a new POM fan. It's got a 150,000 hour life bearing. It's made out of a special material that self lubricates and self heals. So if something happens, like if you touch it and you scratch it and your fan gets all wobbly, the plastic will run through and eventually mm -hmm. smooth itself out like a, like a brake would do to you know on your cars very nice so uh, got the hyper 212 x with a very nice fan on there and uh, some work done with the fin array to give yeah. you some added cooling now uh here's some products that you were showing me a minute ago and these are some some that i'm really excited about because we've seen closed loop cpu coolers they really come into their to their own they're really popular because they're a very effective way to jump into liquid cooling uh, now you guys have been working with ice um, with uh, is the company called yeah. iceberg no it's us Oh, you okay? It, it, Iceberg's the name. Iceberg is the name. I I, I believe Iceberg in German is ice. Okay, iceberg. that's where I was confused. So Iceberg is the German name for iceberg, and I guess the pronunciation yeah, is I, also the same. Uh, but what these are are uh, they start out kind of closed loop, but you have the option to expand them. If, so if, so we uh, have we have three versions. We have the solo, which if you're a, currently a water cooling enthusiast, or you're and you have your pump die on you and you want to replace it, you can use one of ours. These are standard standard socket, uh, standard tubing. So we have it We have it like this, which is if you already know what you're doing, you can start there. Uh, if you want to get into the really enthusiast level, we have the 120 and the 240. Here, why don't I take this from you? Thank you, they're heavy. Uh, so this is the, both of them at once. This is the 120. It's all copper radiator, comes with two fans and a solid copper base. And you could see into it, so if there's any particles or rust or something happened to the inside, you'd be able to see what's in there. You don't have to run it with water. You can run it with beer or wine or <laughs> liquid <laughs> cheese if that's what you're doing. Prefer but, preferably an effective liquid cooling preferably solution. Preferably something you can transfer heat, but uh, they've assured us you can put whatever you want in there nice. as long as it works. Because right. the, the pump is serious. Okay. You'll know it's working because you can see it. And so copper, copper here, it's nice and heavy, does a really good job. And we, we, we fill it and seal it and we ship it to you. Um, so if you want to run it like that, great. You have a really high-end water cooler. If you wanted to expand and hook in a video card or another radiator, or you wanted to change the radiator because you maybe wanted to put it in a 360 or something, mm -hmm. uh, you can unscrew these and connect it and then rehook it back up to the loop, just like you'll see on like a modded form or somebody who does a custom water, custom water loop. Nice. And I see in the back you also have the Iceberg 240L, so uh, also a dual dual 120 version of this radiator yeah so two 120 fans you can hook up a push pull system if you want just go for the really maximum cooling and same thing these are modular you can they, they remove and uh it's standard size and then we we wrap them in this metal so that you could see like if you twist it around the metal keeps it from kinking nice i mean you're probably doing something wrong if you're installing it like that yeah but um <laughs> You know, like more power to you. It's not going to. Well, at least you have, you have some added flexibility there, exactly. no as, kinks. as well as the flexibility just by the ability to buy a closed loop cooler and then uh, add on to it in the future if you so desire. Exactly. Really like that. Thank you. And uh, over here we have some more examples. These are the same fans that you guys saw on the Hyper 212X, so the, available in a variety of LED colors. We have in five versions: red, white, and blue, and uh, green and black on the other side. And uh, Very nice. these have that, that POM in there, so if something happens or it gets wobbly, it'll fix itself and it'll restart. Um, Very nice. Yeah, and, and these are very powerful. They're t uh, 2400 RPM and 95 CFM. So if you put your hand in there, people can't see it on the TV, but we had these little stands in front of them and they kept getting knocked over because the wind was blowing them over. Oh, geez. It's, it's, <laughs> Yeah, so it's like a, taking chunks out of the stand and stuff. Yeah, it's a it's a real powerful, real powerful fan. Nice. And, and then, then, oh sorry, go that ahead. segues into the we have green trigger 
Card will go over that Ooh. in another video, but uh, these have the green Cherry MX switches. I can pull one off real quick. You can see the, the Cherry MX switch right there. Beautiful. Um, maybe I'll cover the LED. See, it's green. It's really tactile. It's really nice. It's like a really hard blue, if you're familiar with the switches. Um, and then uh, we're moving on to a, a, a classy case. This is an all aluminum case, and that's something that I, I feel like I see more rarely these days. This is the ATCS 710, uh, and you guys have uh, worked with the ATCS series before, yes. although I must admit I'm not personally familiar with that line, so uh, what, what else can you tell us about this one? Yeah, so this is our, our elegant series. It's uh, all aluminum, as you said. It's light, so you know, it's nice and shipping and, and we kind of concealed everything. Obviously the power button, reset button are here, but behind that little panel there's all your front, front switches. And it's completely flat. It's, we try to keep it um, as perfectly color matched as possible. One of my favorite features of this is the ability to push this in and you can remove this to clean out the filters. It's connected so I don't want to pull it out, but these fans quickly pop out as you can see and then slide back in. So if you're cleaning out your grill, and then uh, it just pops right back in. Beautiful. Yeah. So, on a case of this of this caliber, you're going to have all your intakes covered with a really nice mesh. We have it on the top as well, um, and that pops off through through a clip on the inside in a similar fashion to this one. And you can see that there's enough room to mount a 240 millimeter iceberg with those jet flow fans that we just talked about. I forgot to give the name when I said jet it. Jet flow. Jet flow. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's, uh, and then you know the the nice power supply, and there's plenty of room in the back. You can see, you know, I did a little bit of cable riding there to get everything hooked up. And there are two other drive bay sets that go here: one with two hard drive spots and one with three. So if you had a car that needed the room, I just thought it looked better, nice and open, mm -hmm. so that you could see, you know, it's really clean back there. So that's that's where I left it. All right. But, well, I, I I think that brings us to the end. Thank you very much, Paul. I think so. <laughs> Nate, I want to thank you for uh, setting up all these cases because when you look at a case, it's great to see an actual build set up in there. And you did a great job with all these. They look fantastic. And uh, you did a great job talking to us today as well. We did this all in one take. One shot, one kill. So uh, high five for that. Good yeah. Show. All right. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more of our CES 2013 coverage, you can. That's available on our New Egg TV YouTube channel. Thanks again to Nate. Thanks to Cooler Master. We'll see you guys next time.